Thailand's natural pride, the Western Forest Complex, covers 18,000 square kilometers. It is one of the largest protected area complexes in Southeast Asia, comprised of 17 national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. And this is home for many wildlife species. From the high mountain range of the upper western forest complex comes the flow of water sources. We are here in Maywong National Park. The Mu Riwa River flows through the lowland forest, giving abundantly to nature with an incomparable uniqueness to this landscape. creating a natural heritage where an abundance of biodiversity continues to be found. Our mission starts on a day during the rainy season to release sambar deer in the Maywong National Park, recovering their current small population in the forest. The Worldwide Fund for Nature, or WWF Thailand, under the Tiger Recovery Project, in collaboration with the Department of Natural Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation of Thailand, Beyond tracking the tiger population here, the research found that population trends of ungulate species such as sambar, deer, gore, wild boar, and muntjac are not increasing, especially the sambar deer, which is classified as vulnerable according to IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Low sambar abundance was caused by heavy hunting in the past and the limitation of their food sources like grassland and natural salt licks. Herbivores, like sambar deer, play an important role in the ecosystem, helping to maintain the balance of wild vegetation while facilitating seed dispersal in the forest. In addition to this, the sambar deer is part of an ecosystem food chain. It is the key food source for carnivores like tigers, which are an umbrella species in the ecosystem. Tigers are declining and listed as an endangered species. Thailand is home to 170 wild tigers and found only in protected areas. A recent study from WWF and the Department of National Park Thailand found that over 900 square kilometers of Maywong National Park area only 2% of it is glass rent. These are challenging factors to reintroduce the sambar deer back to the wild. We started by improving the food source area, which aims to provide an alternative source of nourishment that is needed for ungulates and herbivores. The area is prepared to support the soft release operation, followed by the selection of healthy sambar deer from the National Wildlife Breeding Centers at Khao Kho and Bang Lamu. According to the mission of the Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation, reintroduction on sambar deer is done regularly in protected areas.
But this is the first time it's being done in Maywong National Park, 300 kilometers away from the breeding center. Researchers, veterinarians, skillful park officers, and the WWF team are ready for the operation. Starting with the selection of individual sambar deer. Having its health checked by the center's veterinarian. Male deer will have to get their horns cut to prevent fights and other wounds during the relocation process which will grow back the following year. One of the highlights of this operation is the installation of specialized radio collars using the VHF, or Very High Frequency System. The collar is attached to the deer's neck. Once it starts working, the radio signal is transmitted from the collar. The receptors allow the researchers to track whether the deer is still alive and to follow its movements. This collar will self-release after a long period of time, depending on the climate and behavior of the deer. The radio collars will only be used for a female deer because females provide a significant impact to population growth. We avoid fixing the collars on male deer because during mating season, its neck grows thicker, making the collar tighter, which would be harmful to the deer. Now the sambar deer are ready for their adventure. A team of researchers and veterinarians arrived to Maywong National Park to the enclosure at the release site, which has been set up for the deer to adapt to their new habitat. A final health checkup is conducted before being released back into the wild. The identity and information of an individual deer will be recorded by researchers as a database for future use on sambar deer reintroduction. One week later, all sambar deer have adapted to the forest and weather conditions in the area. This is the first time in life to return back home to the original life of the sambar deer, like its ancestors. The first step of freedom in the large forest, a meaningful step of hope for increasing the abundance of nature in the future.
and the hope in the work of researchers for their conservation efforts. A few hours after the release, WWF researchers immediately start the monitoring and evaluation process. Installation of camera traps along wildlife trails and water source areas where they possibly go to drink. Mapping to ensure that these deer are returned to nature's embrace to increase the genetic diversity of the forest. This mission is to restore the biological function of this forest ecosystem. It will support Mei Wong Klong Lan's wildlife recovery plan and will be part of a successful conservation program in the Western Forest Complex where we wish to connect the forest landscapes together to become a big home for all living creatures to live for generations to come. มันมีการล่าหนักนะครับมันก็เลยลดน้อยลงมากไม่ใช่แค่ประเทศไทยด้วยนะครับประเทศลาวประเทศเวียดนามประเทศเพื่อนบ้านการที่ศักยภาพม